Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Gail. Thank you for joining me. And today I have some Happy Mail unboxing for you. And um, I'm sorry about my voice, I'm losing it. But I just have a couple of boxes of Happy Mail here. I really like to open my Happy Mail on camera so that I can see every detail and describe it. And you know, sometimes I get greedy and open it off camera, but I really didn't want to do this. So I should have asked, I'm pretty sure it's Karen. And this was actually a rack. I had been commenting on her Instagram. She is um, at paper underscore confetti on Instagram. And I will leave that down below. But I had been commenting on her happy jig thing she's been making and saying that it's really inspiring me to use the one that I bought last year and haven't even really used maybe a couple times. So she said, well, how about I send you one? And I was like, oh, that's super sweet. And you know, maybe I'll send you something back when I can. And she said, well, let's just do a spring swap. So we are gonna do a spring swap and I'm still in the middle of Valentine's swaps. I'm still working away on some swaps and challenges. So um, when I'm done with all that, we will figure out a spring swap. But I'm not usually like a spring swapper. I don't usually do a lot of spring swapping, but I have a bunch of Maggie Holmes stuff I need to use and I kinda, I'm challenging myself to get out of my comfort zone this year, so why not do stuff I don't usually do? She got it packaged really well. She's like me, she tapes up like crazy. And I like this paper, cute little bow paper. And I'm trying not to completely destroy it, but she is like me, she tapes it. But you know what? You spend so much time making this stuff, I always wanna make sure that the box is waterproof and no, um, any, you know how they are with mail, they don't give a crap. All right, so she has recycled a box, that's awesome. I love recycling. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm really excited, and this was a sweet rack to just offer to send someone. I love making friends in this community, and um, everyone has been so kind, and she's got a couple. <gasps> Look at this little confetti. It's so cute, so it's stars. I wonder if she made that, so you'll have to let us know if you made that. And look at this really pretty die cut. This is like a little envelope she has made. Super cute. I love the, the flowers and then like the geography, like the um, like uh, square steps. I like that. Super cute. And thank you for commenting about happiness to my heart. I look forward to a crafty friendship. Oh, that's so sweet. So do I. I love making new friends on here. And look at her delicate little packaging, that, packaging that's super smart to just... Um, amp up you all cute so she did kind of a, I love this little I haven't seen that sticker before that's really cute and some little like holographic looking stickers and I love this little ticket so that's thick so that's like a wooden um piece a wooden you know veneer piece I guess super cute but it's decorated so that's cute I wonder where you got that you have to comment and let us know in that super cute packaging to just kind of um, use washi tape on the end of tissue paper that's super smart. And I think I will be doing that in the future. Super cute. That's such a good idea for packaging. And it actually sealed really well. I'm surprised it's sticking to the other washi that well. And this is just super sweet for someone just to send you a rack. Oh my gosh, look how precious. Okay, so it's like... She has made a wreath out of these hearts and that's super smart and I might have to try this. So she's finding these wood pieces and she'll have to let us know where are you making these. Super cute. So in, in addition to just the wire, she has wrapped a very fine um, wire around that wreath just to give it some added texture and dimension and interest. And it's really cute because you can see in the little wire is like catching the light. This is a little heart um, arrow, super cute. The heart is glittery and it says love. And I love the little, what do, would you call this? The little feathers or whatever, I forget what it's called on an arrow. And some paper flowers and some really cute, I have to pick some of this up. A gold eyelash trim, I've never seen it in gold really pretty so these are paper flowers and this one is ribbon and it's just super i love this style of crafting and you can just see everything and it's just really sweet and i love it so thank you so much for sending me a random act of kindness and i'm sure it's gonna spur a, a crafty friendship and i'm so looking forward to doing our spring swap i'm already thinking i don't know i'm not even done with valentine's but i'm already thinking about what I want to be doing for spring and I'm kind of want to branch out and try some things that I've never tried this year 
there's Claude the Kitten, so he might try to come up here and get into all of this. But thank you so much. So be sure to check out at paper underscore confetti on Instagram and go show some love because that's so sweet that she would take the time to um, make this and send it to me. I really do appreciate it. It's very cute. And I will start thinking about our swap and we'll figure out what we're going to do. And then my next happy meal. Thank you so much. That's so cute. My next happy meal is going to be from Sweet Herber Daisies on Instagram. And her name is Mary. And this um, swap was hosted by Maria, who is Mary Carmen. And I will I will um, link everyone below. I don't know why I just cut it like that. I'm really, I'm kind of not feeling great. And we keep uh, joking. Like, I definitely have coronavirus. Definitely. I guess it's not funny to joke about that. But I'm just like, there's no symptoms, no fever. I just like lost my voice and it's, I'm coughing. I don't know. So super cute. Super cute pink, and I can tell it is in a jar, and that is precious. <gasps> oh, cute. Oh my gosh, did she send me literally just a bucket of love? So this is a jar just filled with amazing crafty goodness, and this I love this idea because you can't see everything right away, and I'm just going to get in there and see what I got in a cute little jar, which, of course, I might use this to store, you know, my little, well, this stuff until I use it all, but I'm trying not to hoard so much stuff this year, so... She's got in here. Oh, look at that little chipboard. Were these from Target? I couldn't find these good ones. I only found the other ones that, um, super cute. So she's got some little felt pieces in here. Some owls, some glittery hearts, some ribbon. That's a really cute trim. I love it. I love that pink. I love that color. And here's a little punch and it's a tiny heart. Oh my gosh. I will be able to use this. What a good idea. Um, I don't want to use my Cricut for something this small. So this will be a good idea. And I can add this to just my embellishments and stuff. And that's super cute. I love having little punches. And then here's some more. Look at these chipboards. Where are these from? These are so cute. So I will be using some of these if I can. I'm, I'm kind of almost done with embellishments. but And she was sneaky. She didn't even tell me she was mailing it or anything. It just came in the mail today. So super cute. She's got one of these little containers and she just made a little dimensional heart on there with a little sequin on top for added detail. That's super cute. And it is full of gems. And who couldn't use gems? And what a cute way to package those. So some pink um, flat back gems, which I have been using lots of gems this year. Oh, look, and this is a little kawaii. It's probably like an eraser if I had to guess. Super cute. Little kawaii popsicle or ice cream cone. And look what comes out of the little thing. That's so cute. And another, um, this one's a cupcake. So these must be erasers. Super, super cute. I think I almost broke that one. <gasps> look at this little resin piece. So this is just a little resin heart. And it's with gold glitter. And it says bestie. And she's put it on this cute little ring. So that's super cute. I love it. I, I've got a friend who made me the glue gun holder that's into resin. I just haven't made it over there to play with it yet. And see what it's all about. I need to buy some. And here's some more chipboard pieces. And super cute. These are really cute. And a little flare. Look, a little heart button. Oh, look at this. this is a little heart like a, a googly eye, but it's a heart instead of an eye. That's really cute. And there's a gem. I think it, this was rogue. A little rogue gem. And look, I've never seen these are little heart um, picks. Like whatever, like little floral picks or whatever, but little hearts. <gasps> there he is. I knew it was going to happen. He was quiet though. I didn't hear him sneak up. You like, he has been smelling this box since it came in the mail. Do you mind? Excuse me. This is not your stuff. This is my stuff. I didn't already know he's going to want to play with all of it. Look at this, a little acetate. I hope I don't, you know what? I'm going to try to get it out the other way like this. A little acetate, um, Chinese takeout box. Girl, how'd you get this in here? She's good. Fortune cookie erasers. Oh, that's so cute. And they're all in Valentine's colors. I have never seen those. That's super cute. And here's some um, stickers with hearts with googly eyes. Super cute. Just a whole little stack of stickers. Oh, I love these little lovebirds. Claude, can we not? Can you just mind your business for one time? So some felt hearts in here as well. And some... Here, you want to play with the... 
here. You can here. Bye. Boy, bye. Get stop it. This is my life now. I can't do anything without him. He's just a baby though. So I'm just gonna dump the rest of these out and hope for the best. Hopefully he doesn't take much. This is a little chipboard. It says be mine. This is a little wood veneer, super cute. And some glittery, um, more glittery hearts. Oh, cute, like so a super um, glittery clothespin, which I might maybe add one of these little, that would be cute, to make it into a Valentine's one. So she's got, these are like flat backs. They're cute, they've got some dimension to them, hearts with glitter. A little kawaii felty cupcake, cute. Look at this little guy. He's a chipboard and some more erasers. I love these puppy hearts. I don't have any like this, so I will definitely be using these. I'm going to try not to hoard my stuff. I used to hoard my stuff. Oh, these are cute glittery um, felt hearts and some wood chips again. And then more of these. I really like these hearts. And some little heart brads. Where are you getting all this stuff? Super cute. I might use it on a tag. And here's another little heart bread, and they're glittery and cute. And these little hearts are just awesome. Can you please get down off where you know you're not supposed to be? Come here. Please behave. Please behave. Some more clips. I really like the hot pink. And erasers. And I love these little heart googles. I'm just going to call them heart googles because I don't... They're like googly eyes, but they have hearts. That is super cute. And lots of fun buttons here and some more chips, little chipboard pieces, and more little felt hearts. I love this, you know, I like using these for embellishments and I love getting little um, trim and swaps and some buttons there. So super cute for a surprise goodie. I love that. That's kind of like a little grab bag, but it's in a cute jar. I think I'm going to put everything in there but the little Chinese box because it's kind of hard to get in and out of there. I wonder if I can make one of those. That's super cute. I think, I don't know, this might be my favorite. That's really cute. Like, how do you get the hole in there? Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so that was super fun. So thank you so much for all of that. All right, so she's, I can't believe she sent this big of a box, first of all. I think she's got lots of just lots of, it's always nice to protect your packages because we do spend such a that is so funny I girl because I kind of took um liberty with the loaded envelope of what I made which I don't want to spoil it but I I'm putting it in one of these as well so that's so funny that you're gonna get I don't know if I can't remember if mine is pink you so you guys saw on my valentine's um stash reveal that 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 is so funny because you're getting one back and there's one more thing in the box that's super cute. So this says, oh, seed packets. How do you know? I love gardening. Oh my gosh. So lavender, mini rose, and forget-me-nots. Oh, my mom loved forget-me-nots. And I still have one that she planted. She passed away. It's been almost a year. And um, I'm going to sit here and cry on YouTube. Oh my gosh. So thank you so much for that. That will I'll plant those and think of my mom. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Get it together. Okay. So this is just an envelope full of goodness. Oh my goodness. So I see lots of stuff. Oh, that's so freaking cute that you repackaged a chocolate bar. That is so cute. And I love milk chocolate and dark chocolate. I'm not a huge white chocolate fan. So I don't know. I might have to make a cup of cocoa tonight and just eat um, chocolate and hot chocolate because I think it would soothe my... I'm going to have tea or hot chocolate tonight. Oh my gosh. And I work at Starbucks, so this is amazing. I need a Frappuccino dye. I have no Frappuccino dye. And she's got really cute packaging with little sequins. And I, where are you getting all these really super cute sequins? So these are heart sequins in like pink, red, and purple. And she's got some hollow hearts in there, which I might have to make use. I might have to reuse these sequins on some embellies. Let's see. There's kind of a couple stuck in there, but I'll be able to get them out. I love these embellishments. These are so cute. So this one is like, um, you know, maybe hot cocoa. And she's got these really cute heart um, gemstones. And so this one would be the Frappuccino. And I love this little glittery. It's like vellum, but maybe a little thicker. And it's really, um, I guess pearly would be a better way to put it. So like a pearled 
kind of vellum, but it's thicker than vellum, super cute. And it even has a little red straw and the whipped cream. And here's a little takeout cup. These are really cute dies. I like your dies. You might have to let me know where you got those. And super cute. And I work at Starbucks, so that is, I always love getting little coffees. And these tassels are awesome. And she put them on um, actual key rings, which is super, super genius. And I love um, this, oh, this, I mean, traditional pink, you know, Valentine's Day is cute. But I love this kind of peachy pink. It's so pretty. I love it. And then a white one. And super cute. And again, she's given me some more of these sequins in these packaging. And it's so satisfying just hearing the shake of sequins in a package. I just love it. And I'm not going to open these, but um, super cute. And they're on key rings, which is genius. And I don't know. I never thought to do it, but now I definitely will. And cherries are like my favorite. So here's a little notepad. And I love... I wonder what size this is. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to fit it in my pocket size. So it's four by six, which I don't even know what size it is. A something maybe, I don't know. I usually, I'm a B6 girl or a passport. And this is right in between, but it's super cute. And I might just stick it in there anyway, because I love this, or this would be a good one to keep in my purse. And I love cherries and my mom loves cherries too. Super cute. And then, oh, a Lindor. Chocolate. So this is the truffle bar, so it has the creamy stuff inside. Super amazing. Got a couple of, you can't go wrong with chocolate. Oh my gosh, you sent me two of them. So I might have to share some of these. My boyfriend's coming over tonight, so he can eat some of those calories. Let's see. Be mine. And this is a bath bomb. So cute. Okay, so you know what? I think the steam might do me well. I might just take a bubble bath tonight and drink some hot chocolate and have some chocolate. Put my feet up and relax. <gasps> Look at these flowers. She sent me Primo flowers. Now, I've never seen these ones. I have never seen these ones. These are really pretty. And the ones I got her are Prima as well, but I couldn't find any that were just pink. And these are adorable. And they have this really cute rhinestone in the middle. And I love these. And I know I will use every single one. And it's kind of a gradient, like an ombre. Light pink, medium pink, and a darker pink. I love it. Thank you so much. So that was one of the requirements for the swap. The requirements for the swap were two embellishments, three tassels. Um, why am I forgetting here? Handmade flowers and store-bought flowers. So this is really cute. And I've never seen these ones. Where are you getting all this stuff? Super cute. And look at these little, like, kawaii. These are sweet treats and they're really cute. So they are... Um, like foiled but it's a pink foil that's really cute i love these and they're all cupcakes and sweet treats and these are going to be great for rosettes and like i said i'm still working on valentine's day so i will definitely be using these and super cute how she just redid the packaging up here and i guess i never noticed that you could do that or i don't know how people do that but super smart and i love this little heart i might try to take no it's not going to come out there super cute but she has stitched around the felt on this middle heart and added a super cute little flower gem in the middle. And I love that. And she used a brown one on top, which makes me think of all these chocolatey good treats. That's so cute. And some little puffy stickers that say XO. And that's really cute. I've never seen this paper either. It's like a foiled red paper with um, a lace heart. And in the heart is two deers kissing. And I love that. You know, we love deers in the crafting community, but never thought to put them for Valentine's Day. So that's super, super cute. And oh my gosh, look at these flowers, overachiever. Did you cut these? So I have to know, is this a punch, a die, and is that crepe paper? These are beautiful, and they're really good size. And look at these layered heart. These, this die is really, really cute. And I love the music note paper. And she's used a really nice glitter, um, thick cardstock in pink, and then it coordinated it with silver, and it's just beautiful. These, you'll have to let me know, is this a die? This might be like a David Tutier. I might have seen this die. But I love these layered hearts, and they're just so delicate and cute, and I love the colors that you have sent me, and I really can't wait to use these. These are so pretty and different. Like, I've, I don't know. I just, it's so, so sweet. I love it so much. And I love that you put it in the envelope, and I'm sending you an envelope, too. But I made a little something that you will see. And I'm excited to reveal everything, but I need to finish it. But I kind of got stuck on doing challenges right now. 
And I'm a little late on sending um, Soleil's challenge, which I think it'll still get there. It's gonna be going. It's gonna be going to Australia, and it's due February 20th. So I'm hoping to mail it Monday. I was supposed to mail it last Monday, but I took a week off from crafting. I had my birthday, and just kind of, I don't know. I guess I took like a little break, a little creative break, which that's okay. Um, you know, life happens, and sometimes life just has a way of getting in the way of our crafting. But I'm coming back refreshed, and I'm gonna, I have the weekend off, and I'm gonna be crafting all weekend and hanging out with this guy. Which, I don't know where he went. I'm glad he got distracted, though. So, Mary, thank you so much for swapping with me. I would definitely love to swap with you again. And I will post everyone's um, pages down below. I hope everyone has a great, crafty weekend. Let me know what you're working on. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to give me a like if you like this video. And I would love for you to subscribe if you're new here. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.